Good morning. Thank you for joining us again for today's celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Our celebrant this morning is Father John. The Mass today is being offered for Anali Shet Snell. Please join me in praying the entrance antiphon. My deliverer from angry nations, you set me above my assailants. You saved me from the violent man, O Lord. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us. We pray together, especially in the special way, to the school of parents of St. Joseph. As we know, today is Wednesday when we normally gather here for school mass, so use your time responsibly at home. We know that the students have got homeworks, so do it faithfully and let the parents help them to do their uh, homework as they are instructed. Let us begin our prayers and our Mass as always. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins as so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Eva Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God, of compassion, the hearts of your children sanctified by penance, and in your kindness, grant those you steer to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar, said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue that I made whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white-hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you. In this matter, if our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace and from your hands, O king, may he save us. But even if he will not, know, O king, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white-hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But, he replied, I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. 
Nebuchadnezzar explained, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our, our response is glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for ages. Praise. Glory and praise be forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise be forever. Blessed are you in the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise be forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise be forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Glory to you, O Lord Jesus Christ, King of eternal glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to, the, to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are the descendants of Abraham and we have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will know you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then you do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of the Father. So they say to him, We are not born of fornication. We have one Father. Jesus said to them, If God were your Father, you would love me, for I came from God and I'm here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, another day and God has given us another man we are thanking him and we keep on asking for his mercy and protection as we are all working from home as i say in the introduction of this mass let us work faithfully for the school parents as i say let us make sure that our kids are doing their homeworks and everyone who is working from home to be faithful as if 
everyone would be in his or her duties. In the Gospel reading today of the, um, of the chapter 8 of John, Jesus is talking to the Jews. In this chapter, the, the eighth chapter of John, it continues giving us uh, about Jesus and his testimony as he say, if you remain in my words, you will truly be my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. They wondered at Jesus and they were confused because in their history as descendants of Abraham, they had never been enslaved. And they, are, they were wondering at Jesus talking about slavery. How can we be enslaved while we are the descendants of Abraham? Perhaps they did not know what Jesus was talking about. He was talking about the slavery of sin. My dear brothers and sisters, this is what sin does to us. And that is why the church has given us this Lenten time to deal with sin and temptation. Sin makes us slaves when we are stuck there and we are not able to get out of it. Every day as we make our examination of conscience, we focus on three areas as we say, for I have seen in my words, in my deeds and action, and what I have felt to do. Let us ask ourselves, how many times have I been a slave in one of the aspects, or in these aspects? How am I using my tongue? Many times we speak ill of others. We hurt our, uh, others by our words. Sometimes but by backbiting others. Again, we say in my deeds, in my action, let us ask ourselves, are we doing the right thing? When we are free, what are we doing at home? Are we doing the right thing? That is very important as we examine ourselves in the aspect of being slaves of sins. And again, we say what I fail to do. We have so many uh, responsibilities entrusted to us. Many times we omit and we commit. We omit our responsibilities that we are entrusted and we commit so many sins. When we fail to get out of there, we are no better than slaves. Sin enslaves us. As we know, a simple definition of a slave is somebody who is not in control of himself or herself. Somebody who is fired and hired at will, who is driven without his will. So when we commit sin, we are slaves. Many times we are slaves, especially in the habitual and repeated sins. Let us ask ourselves in our lives, especially this time of Lent, where are we stuck? What do you, do you think that you keep on repeating? You make resolution, you say, my God, I want to be good in this aspect. But tomorrow you go back to it again and again in those areas now those habitual sin. We need liberation, especially this time that we wage the war against Satan. As you know, when you wage war, you don't sleep. So we wage the war against Satan, and therefore we need to stand firm, put on the armor of prayers. Prayers, that is very important aspect which makes us be able to fight temptation and see. In the continuity of this gospel, Jesus gives his testimony about himself and his relationship with God the Father. How many times of our faith? Look at the first reading of the book of Prophet Daniel, the three young men, Meshach, Abednego, and Shadrach. They were ready to die than to sin, than to deny their God, than to worship false God. But they stood firm to the king and they said to him, 
our God whom we serve can save us from the white heart furnace. They give us good example of giving testimony and standing firm for what to believe, for what we believe. Perhaps we are scared too much. We are scared to give testimony in front of others. They were having this power of God. My dear brothers and sisters, in confirmation we received the strength of the Holy Spirit that it gives us strength to stand against temptation and sin and to stand like these three young men who were not afraid to tell the truth and eventually God saved them from death and let us also believe that God is always with us and he will save us. The Lord hears the cries of his people. Let us now bring our prayers and petitions before him. For all members of the church, may the Lord make us worthy of his call on our lives to serve him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all public officials, may God increase their conviction for upholding the dignity of every human person. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in prison, may the Lord lead them to a freedom found in faithfulness and discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, May the grace of God free us in pursuing his work and his will above all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died this day, may the Lord welcome them into his eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those persons whose names are written in our book of petitions, and for all the intentions that we hold, in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, receive these prayers that we bring to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice by your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. 
receive back O oh Lord these sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name and grant that they may become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received the heart to confess your infinity power of your majesty. Since the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make you holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like dew fall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly to his passion. He took a bread and gave him thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Let this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save our Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, in giving thanks that you have heard us work to be in our presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and there are our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Mass on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, our spouse, the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have lived you throughout the ages, we may meet to be for us eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Roll him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin. 
and is safe from all these threats as well. They bless the hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your child, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us now acknowledge our willingness to be peacemakers. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray together the communion antiphon. God has brought us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. An act of spiritual communion by St. Alphonsus Liguori. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine that they may purge all evil from our hearts and strengthen us from eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen.
coronavirus prayer for God's protection. Loving and gracious God, as in all times we turn to you and employ your protection and healing as we face a new threat to our health and the peaceful well-being in our in, in, in our well-being in the coronavirus pandemic before us. Help us to be united with each other and with all of our brothers and sisters around the world affected by this illness. We pray for all those in the medical field who assist patients and in the field of science who are designing a cure as well as for all government leaders. Remember those who through this virus have passed from this life as well as their families and in their loss. At this time of fragile uncertainty, we also humbly implore you to grant us prudence, hope, courage, and patience. Dispel from us fear, panic, and distrust, which disrupt us in spirit to the detriment of our well-being. We make our prayer in the name of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who always cured those who were sick with various diseases and drove out many demons. Our Lady Patroness of our Diocese, Queen of the Apostles, and Comfort of Afflicted, pray for us. Amen. There is one announcement today that we will be having Holy Hour from Monday through Saturday from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So you are all invited to join us as always. Please remember to pray with us. Holy Hour is very important to us as we stay in the presence of the Lord and invoke and ask for divine intervention. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.